to get a better understanding of the chairman's goals, I spoke with Jamil Jaffer. So his bio is really long, including chief counsel to the Senate Foreign Relations Committee in the past and lead architect of the Iran Nuclear Agreement Review Act. Again, he worked for Republicans in the past, and he worked directly with Bob Corker. Keep that in mind as you hear all this. But some of Jaffer's insights surprised me. Jamil, you personally had a hand in the Iran deal and crafting what Congress ended up passing uh, out of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and uh, then on the floor and in the House. Uh, do you get the sense that Senator Corker, who you've worked closely with for a long time, is trying to preserve that? What's he doing with Iran here? Yeah, absolutely not. I think uh, Senator Corker has been very clear on his views on the Iran deal. He's made it clear from the beginning that he was opposed to the deal. He thought it was a bad deal. Uh, made by President Obama. Um, he passed legislation to ensure that Congress had a chance to even look at the deal, which President Obama didn't want, um, and that Congress had a chance to vote on the deal before it went into effect, which also President Obama did not want. And in fact, Senator Corker voted against the deal. So I don't think Senator Corker is trying to preserve this deal at all. Um, in fact, I think he wants Congress to be involved in the process of ensuring that if we're going to get a deal with Iran, that it's a much better deal. You definitely can can see the tweets, and you know mm -hmm. many people have taken them at their face value of you know they're in this bat. It doesn't seem that way to me. It seems that he's trying to warn him off of a certain path that he's concerned the president's taking. I think what you know Senator Corker is probably more responding to are sort of the larger things going on in the system with Secretary of State Tillerson um, not being backed by the president and sort of that that back and forth. We saw this before with with uh, with Attorney General Sessions. We've seen it with other members of the Senate. This is not the first time the president has gone after members of the party he leads. And I think it's important that the president work together with Congress, with his administration, to really move the agenda forward. And, you know, these kind of tweets, they're not helping move the ball forward. And so, in a sense, is it I don't have much to lose because I'm going out of here and I do have this giant megaphone as the chairman of this committee? Or are there specific places that you would imagine he is most concerned about. I think what he's trying to do is say, look, Mr. President, I've worked with you. You know me. You know I'm a straight shooter. I'm not trying to blow you up. I'm trying to give you sort of honest feedback about, about being more productive when it comes to international relations and working with Congress on those things. And that we're here for you. We're ready to back you up and get get the get America's work done. But if you're gonna do that, you've got to work with us, you know, and 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 not and do this through a collaborative process, not through, like you said, 140 character tweets. It's just not effective and sort of, you know, berating people into your, your agenda is not going to work uh, when it comes to uh, the folks in the international scenario or, or um, you know, in, in the United States. Final question for you, Jamil. Uh, if Senator Corker, at this moment at least, has become the self-appointed bumper guard of the president in the foreign policy realm, do you think that that's going to create such friction that in the future, the president might have a harder time working with Congress on things like tax reform and on even constructing a new Iran deal? Or do you think that they still have room to work together? Look, I mean, I think there's always room to work together. There's always room for a rapprochement and people to work together and, and figure out a plan going forward. That being said, every time this happens, whether it's John McCain or Ben Sass or Mitch McConnell or Rex Tillerson or Jeff Sessions, it makes it harder to do that. You can't, you can't avoid that fact because everyone's Everyone's, you know, not inclined to work with you if you're going to do that to them. And that being said, though, I think there's always a chance here. Bob Corker is a level headed guy. I think he wants to work with the president. He's been trying hard, you know, ever since the election uh, to make the president more successful here. And I think that's part of the effort here. This is not about who gets the credit. It's not about whose ego is bigger. It's about moving the, doing the nation's work and moving the nation forward um, in the international arena.